Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am so, so excited to get to share with you the May Free Spirit Bundle that has been kindly sent to me for review by the amazing Victoria and her team. I am so thrilled to share this box with you guys. I did a little sneak peek for myself just to make sure everything was in there. And I just have to show the box to you, which is going to be a little bit challenging because it is very large, but wait until you see how beautifully presented this box is you guys can you see how they have tetris everything in there just lovely everything is wrapped everything has its little name tag on it to tell us all about it but let's go ahead and dive into the box and i'll give you some of the details as we go because it's always just such a magical, magical thing to get this box and to open it. I know some of you do your own little private self-care wine night. Sometimes you wait and unbox it and do some of the styling tips with Victoria in their very active Facebook group. I love being a part of the Facebook group. That is one of the amazing perks of being a subscriber of the Free Spirit Bundle is Victoria gives you free design advice, not just how to use the items in the bundles, but also just in your own home, how to augment your space. She gives you designer discounts on items and really she has just transformed so many people's lives and so many people's spaces. It's just phenomenal. And of course they also do the free spirit bundle blessings, which you guys, it's such a great give back story and another reason to be a subscriber. So this box, just so you know, is $269.99 per quarter. They are now going to do a one-time purchase. The one-time purchase is going to be $294.99. I do have a code for you. My code is still just hi Noel, and that's going to get you a free extra bonus gift in your first box, which is always just something so delightful that even complements all of the items. And what I really love about this box, you guys, is yes, there's some seasonal elements to it just in terms of the inspiration. Like I'm sure we're going to feel the spring vibes from this box, but she really thinks about beautiful, very eclectic pieces that are going to work in any design style, but they're also going to build upon one another. So you can use items together from, you know, 10 seasons apart, and they're all going to work together in your own home. And you're always going to get great ideas from Victoria, from the team, from other subscribers of ways to use these beautiful timeless pieces so all right <laughs> now that i think i've told you all of the important details but basically remember you guys this box always sells out you want to save that 15 dollars per quarter by doing the subscription versus doing the one-time box although i know sometimes that has to happen but i just wanted to give you a heads up that this box has a total msrp of 305 dollars so you're definitely getting your money's worth but don't forget about the totally priceless perks like her design tips for example so all right you guys let's go ahead and get into it i'm just trying to make sure I know that she did give me a little heads up that there's a, a live plant in here so we have to be on the lookout for that of course we've got a little note with a wax seal I love that she puts the umlaut over my e where it goes thank you for sharing free spirit bundle I hope you love this may bundle be inspired Victoria handwritten note you guys you know I love that so much all right now there is a little card here this is so beautiful. Look at this little art print. I think that that is a mockingbird. So you could definitely have that and put that in a frame. Very springy and colorful, of course. And on the back of this, it tells you about important dates in terms of the uh, styling video that she's going to do. She does great live streams. She does these like, you know, sip and shop things. It's so much fun. And um, then she has different dates for uh, tips and tricks to make your bed luxurious. That one sounds fun. And then she already lets us know that for August 1st that's going to be the next free spirit bundle after this May one that you're going to see today and then there's a QR code now for design and styling tips for the items in this May bundle which I think is a great idea I didn't actually look at that ahead of time but I will definitely do that for sure so all right you guys um you want to get in on this box and you also want to be part of the Facebook community because it's given me so many ideas just kind of being a lurker in there and watching but everybody is just so kind and sweet and that's one of the things that I love so much okay there was something very heavy and very bundled up so let me go ahead and open this up you guys I think there's definitely some some dirt so I think that might be from our plant I'm not sure exactly where that's coming from but hopefully everything is good all right you guys let's see I'm just trying to make sure that I got all of the important salient details for you okay so we got 
Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So it's this ceramic pot. You guys, you know I love the gold detail, right? It's kind of like a bronzy gold, and then it's got this sort of like antique glaze here, uh, matte glaze on the bottom. And then of course we have our tag. So this would be perfect for a plant. So I think there's just some a little bit of dust from this actual ceramic from the outside glaze flaking a little bit, which I don't mind at all. It seems fine. So it says, plant a delicious fresh herb and use me in your kitchen. I can hold your makeup brushes in the bathroom or place a beautiful faux plant inside and display me on a shelf. So if you're like me and you don't have a green thumb and you just want to like put a cute plant in there and leave it, you can get a good faux plant. Um, I'm sure she has good ideas for that as well. It might even be in the uh, styling tips from that QR code, but this is so beautiful. I love that. It's very weighty. It feels like a planter to me, but like she said, you could use it for all kinds of things. You could use it in your bathroom. You could use it for all kinds of things like, you know, displaying pine cones. That's one of the things that I like to do with all my baskets and bowls, etc. That is so, so cool. All right. I like that a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the big guy here because first of all, it's going to take me a little while to unwrap it, but look at the presentation of this. Isn't that stunning with these little sprigs of lavender? I just, I always hate to undo stuff like this, but you know that I'd like to do my, my um, real time unboxings with all of you. So I have to sort of carefully open everything up just in case I have to redo things but I can never make it like as beautiful and perfect as uh, Victoria and the team do but look at this burlap ribbon that I'm <laughs> destroying of course I'm so sorry I feel so bad all right so we have it all wrapped up I just love that she has stuff like wrapped up in uh, little packages so I can totally see when I first heard someone say oh yeah I pour myself a nice big glass of wine and have my free spirit bundle unboxing at home by myself you know tell the rest of the family to uh give me give me an hour to just really enjoy all of these treats i just think that's so so cool all right so i got the paper off i have to see what's in here okay so i need my exacto knife you definitely need to get all your tools ready besides your glass of wine when you're opening this box because everything's packed up so nicely i'm not sure where i'm supposed to be opening it from but we'll do our best and then hopefully we can get into this. I think there's quite a few items in here. I just realized as I took that out that there's a there's a bottom layer in here too, you guys. Oh goodness. All right, what is in here? Oh goodness, wow. Okay, this is like a lantern, I think. Wow, okay. Let me keep going. Um, so I think that this is like a candle holder that's fashioned to look like a really tall lantern, but we're gonna have to see, oh my gosh, this tape will not get off of my finger. <laughs> that's so funny. It was like not jumping off of my finger, you guys. All right. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. I love this kind of mirror that sort of, it kind of reminds me of like, um, like old school, like diners used to have this sort of like, this kind of mirror, you guys are gonna get a major reflection. Let me see. So then it opens up this way. So it's just got this like slide opener. And then I think you put, oh, she even gave us a candle for it. So you put that in and then you close it back up and then that candle is gonna shine through there. And then there's an opening on the top, of course, so that it can get some air so that your candle doesn't, you know, blow out. It doesn't extinguish because candles need air. She did want me to let you know that this, because it is glass, you guys, you know, it's going to get really, really hot. So you have to be super duper careful um, when you are reopening it to blow out that candle or just even after you've already blown it out, just be very, very careful. So here's the little piece that goes in the bottom for our candle. And I love that she included a beautiful cream taper candle. So that's going to go right in there. And then you set that inside. Let me see if I can show you. Look at that. That's gonna be so stunning. And then you can just close that up. Oops, there's my little lantern holder at the top. You close that up and it slides closed. Oh, that's gonna be so, so pretty. Let's see what the label says. It says, use me inside or outside to give a beautiful cozy touch of candlelight. I look great displayed alone, but can also be paired next to other decorative detail like a picture frame or a vase to give you the perfect decorative duo. And it does have a little warning label on there again that it gets super duper hot. This would be so pretty outside on your patio when you're doing some alfresco dining. I'm sorry, I'm giving you guys, I'm flashing you. <laughs> um, I love that. That is so different from anything else that I've ever gotten in a box. and. 
it's gonna go with so many things and it's that very boho eclectic vibe that Victoria has going we got another box you know how much I love a box within a box <gasps> this is our plant okay so they wanted to support a locally owned woman uh, owned small business so we got a little plant and of course this is one that could totally go into yeah so here's here's where all that dirt was coming from you guys because <laughs> it's just in one of those like kind of um, I think biodegradable like pots right where it's gonna get soft if you wet it but I love that she does give us some information Robin Collins did it's from be a light candles and crafts and this tells us about the succulent care so the container is biodegradable place me in a sunny room outside direct sunlight said um, water me sparingly when dry and rotate frequently so mine got a little bit tired in shipping but um, I think it'll be okay but I love that she always tries to support a small business and of course that's gonna look great if I repot that into that into that little guy so I'm gonna have to give this a little re hopefully soon and revive it before I take some photos but you guys I'm usually okay with succulents but even succulents sometimes I like I get too excited and I overwater them that's like my main thing with succulents all right this is so cool you guys so we have a couple more items let me just go ahead and pull these out because I want to make sure that nothing falls over but they had everything nestled so perfectly let me just um I'm just gonna dump some of the dirt <laughs> Look how beautiful this tray is. Oh, I love this so much. Let me just wipe off. I got a little bit of plant, plant um, pixie dust is what we'll call it. So this says, I am one of a kind and can and made of acacia wood. I can be hand washed and I'm food friendly. I can hold so many things in your home. Let me hold your makeup at your bathroom sink, your keys, mail at the front door, or use me to at your desk to organize your supplies. So I'm actually just gonna take the washi tape off so that we can see the beautiful light grain of this acacia wood. I love this. This would be a great serving tray, obviously. I'm not sure. It says, where? Okay, so hand wash only. Don't put that in your dishwasher. I love the little handles, but I also love that it has depth. This would look great with several pots or planters like all in a row, just as a little display. It would also be a great centerpiece, right? You could put some pillar candles in there, probably with some nice bases, just to make sure everything's okay. And then kind of sprinkle some pine cones or glass beads or decorative balls all around it. This could just be the like base for your de decoration. But I love the wood grain, so I think it'd be really nice to have a a little bit of that showing as well I like the idea of using it as like a more of a serving thing but how pretty is that and I love that it's got these these sides you can see that grain a little bit more and kind of goes where the handles are and it has some depth more depth you guys know I'm a little bit of a tray addict I love my trays but this has really got some more depth so it gives it a little more versatility in terms of display and actually uh, functionality in terms of holding on to something you know, you don't want things to like roll out. Okay, we got some coasters, handmade for you. It says, I was handmade for you, so I'm one of a kind. I'm great for protecting your furniture from drinks and can also be used to catch your jewelry at the sink. Um, I don't know if she meant for that to rhyme, but it sure does. Um, let me go ahead and snip this twine. Maybe I can snip it. I didn't get the best scissors. I have my like X-Acto knife, but I don't always trust myself with my exacto knife honestly and then we just have some tool that's kind of wrapping everything up oh these are so pretty i'm liking kind of the outdoor vibes right from this with like we actually got a plant we got that lantern which i think is going to look so great outside she always does a combination of textures so we already got wood we got ceramic we have some gold accents on that ceramic piece we got the glass and the gold and look at the leaf imprints on these ceramic coasters which are nice because they are very neutral with this cream glaze but they also have the cork on the bottom so it's gonna protect the surface of whatever you have them on which is really one of the main reasons we have coasters as well and sometimes you guys if I'm really having something that has a lot of condensation and I want to protect that uh, protect things from leaking down I'll just turn it over and use the cork side but you know the display side is nice to have up until you need it for that function you could do that but they are really pretty as a trinket dish I think that's nice and these are gonna transition really well into every season like I think these are gonna work well for spring summer fall winter one of the things I like about this box too is the the dates of the bundles kind of fall in between seasons almost which just speaks to how versatile they are and how well they transition from from season to season all right we have oh these are the softest freaking napkins ever uh, look they have that kind of crinkly material i love these 
These are so cute. <laughs> Another little sprig of lavender, so sweet. It says, I am made out of cotton, so I'm easy to wash. Take me on your next picnic. Place me in a basket to hold your bread or use me every day at your table. You guys, these are so soft. I love this because, you know, we get a lot of pretty napkins sometimes and they'll be like, dry clean only or iron. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have time to iron napkins. These are just going to get softer and more crumbly and wonderful every time you use them. So let's see, there's two, three, there's four of them. And then they have this nice little, like almost like lace detail at the edges, you guys. So let me just open one up. They're just nice and square. So you're not going to do your, your no fancy napkin folding with this, but I kind of like the almost like shabby chic cottage vibe of these and they are just kind of like a dark gray like a charcoal like block print on this fabric how cool these are nice I, these are usable and they feel really absorbent um really soft they'd be great like kitchen towels too or you could just throw it over your shoulder or in your apron and you know they're actually going to do the work but they feel good you know there's a place for those dressy like the dress napkins and then there's a place for like good useful beautiful napkins all right i think our last item is this caddy let me go ahead and pull some of the shred out i'm like uh-oh i hope i hope there's nothing else in there because no i think that's just tissue paper that's holding everything in place i think i did lose a lot of dirt in there but <laughs> you guys know how my mail carriers tend to be so hopefully i can kind of heal everything all right, so let's read about this caddy, which I'll just hold it up so you guys can see it as I read it, hopefully. It says, I am handwoven and made of rattan. I can be utilized in many different ways, such as organizing silverware. That's what I thought at first. It says art supplies, bathroom supplies, and so much more. So yes, this would like look great in your bathroom to organize, especially because you can like pick it up and easily move it. You don't have to take one piece at a time. This could be great in the kitchen. This could be great as your caddy with all your remotes and all your electronics and all the things that kind of like add up next to your couch and you don't want them on your coffee table all the time. This, I thought of this as an outdoor caddy for your silverware and your napkins to go along with that beautiful lantern candle holder, which I also want to use for the outdoors because look how well the napkins are going to fit right into this container. And then you could put your coasters here. You could have like a section with, you know, have the utensils sticking up. You could have condiments. I think that'd be really good because, you know, especially when you're eating outdoors, everybody wants their condiments, depending on what cuisine. You got to have your ketchup and your mustard. You got to have your soy sauce, got to have your hot sauce. And you can put all of those in there and just easily take it in and out of your kitchen to your picnic table or whatever you have outside. I think that's a great idea. You could even take this with you because it's nice that these handles, because you're probably wondering how it came in the box, these handles actually fold down. So if you wanted, you could even put this like in your beach bag or your picnic basket and then sort of use it as a display to share with everyone once you get to your alfresco dining spot. So I love that idea as well. But I could see using this as a desk uh, organizer too, because like envelopes would fit in there perfectly. And then you could have all of your, you know, binder clips in here and this and that and have like your, you know, I have stacks of stickers these days. I could put stacks of stickers in there. You could put index cards vertically in there. This caddy, you guys, is such a great storage piece. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm kind of surprised how excited I am about it, but uh, let's just go over everything one more time. I don't have a favorite, but I would love to hear from you guys what your favorite in this gorgeous May bundle is. And I can completely see the value of it. I can completely feel the outdoor springy summer vibes. I want to entertain outside a little bit more. It's gonna give me that inspiration to kind of revamp my patio. Maybe Victoria can give me some tips as well because she does such a great job working with so many people's different spaces, styles, and again, giving back with the Free Spirit bundle blessings where they take someone's home who could really just use that sort of extra inspiration and effort and she takes some of the proceeds from this box to to give that blessing to someone else and you as a subscriber get to be a part of that whole experience and see the joy in someone else's face you guys you know how important it is to have a really comfortable living space so all right i said i was going to tell you about everything 
everything again and I totally didn't. So we started off with this gorgeous ceramic pot which has multiple uses. I think I'm going to use it as a planter. Speaking of which, she supported a local women owned business with a uh, live plant you guys. So when you get your box, make sure you open it right away because it's going to have a live plant in it. We got these lovely kind of plant inspired coasters with the leaf imprint on it. We got this great rattan caddy and those beautiful super duper soft napkins. This gorgeous acacia tray. You guys know I have my tray um, love and then this amazing candle holder that can be used indoors or outdoors with the candle which I just think was a really nice touch that she included the candle and then finally we even got this nice little art print as well to kind of freshen up your space for spring so you guys let me know in the comments below what is your favorite item I really love the caddy and I really love the lantern just because it's very very different I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up get in on the bundle blessings for yourself by getting this May bundle. And again, I'll leave the links and all of the details for you in the description box. See you soon in my next unboxing.